the first time YouTube live the YouTube camera. And I, I think we're live on YouTube. Okay. So if you all go right. on YouTube, we're also live we're on also YouTube. There. We're we here and we're here. Instagram, YouTube, Instagram, YouTube. Um, we're not in sync. <laughs> Okay, so yes, we're live, and we are, we've had a nice sleep since our trip to Walt Disney World, Florida. We've had a days and nights sleep. We've yes. had many a sleep, which was good. We spent yesterday napping, eating, mm -hmm. and um, napping, napping, napping again, eating, watching all of Bridgerton. And we just finished season um, one. <laughs> yeah, so yesterday was like a lazy recoup day. Today was, I spent all day cleaning and unpacking. Ugh, exhausted. And I spent all day editing. Yeah, so well, I we like both had, hey, Erica. Hey. <laughs> um, oh, thank you. Um, Leah says pretty hair color. And I it say is pretty. thank you to that. Um, it was bright red and it is now fading to pink. So we're going with pink next, guys. Um, more napping, more eating. Yes, basically. Um, so we had some questions from earlier that you guys asked. But first, we wanted to do a tiny merch haul because we didn't get that much. Not merch. much, but um, we like what we got. Yeah. Um, I cleaned and organized them. <laughs> yeah sorry somebody's saying that they they did the same thing but haven't unpacked <laughs> haven't unpacked yet so i'm like yes we can relate to that mm -hmm. our christmas tree is still up that might come down tomorrow so as far as disney merch that we got um Mm, let's start with, let's start with uh, maybe our favorite. So we went during Festival of the Arts in Epcot. So mm -hmm. obviously there were lots of prints and art pieces to choose from. And um, it's this a one, weird reflection. Yeah, really sorry, But this one totally spoke to us because, I mean, so we live close to Palm Springs. Mm -hmm. So... Tiki in this color palette and color scheme and Dole Whip. I mean, our favorite park treat. Right. Um, tiki themed. Just the. We really like Tiki like, bars, by the way. <laughs> the absolute cuteness of the illustration style um, of Mickey and Minnie here. So this is by an artist um, called Will Gay. And we picked it up at one of the festival booths featuring his art. And the print that comes very nicely matted was 40 bucks. Yeah, so that was great. For so, us. like, super cute. These are the colors, um, the orange and teal that we tried to decorate our home with. <laughs> so um, we're still getting there on the decoration front, but this will be making it to the wall. Be a nice inspiration for... Um, like the one. future of our home decor, don't you mm -hmm. think? I think so. So along the tiki oh, yes. lines, we can see. Okay, so I know that these Disney initial mugs are not new, um, but we never really paid close attention to them until we were there in the store and we looked for our names, our initials. And, and, they, and they corresponded. They're both tiki themed too. I got Adventureland because I am an A for Alex. Enchanted Tiki Room, E for Emily. Perfect. Ah! Oh, somebody's saying they have a great orange pink color from Olympic called uh, Field Poppy. Field Poppy. So okay. we'll check that out because, you know, Thanks. home decor and that's our color. Yeah. So cool. We, um, we are DIYers. Yeah. yeah and I so am. orange is like really good, like, mid-century palm yes, springs tiki color um so we'll check that out but yeah so obviously tiki themed and like once we saw that they corresponded like both of our initials were tiki themed we kind of just grabbed these and ran <laughs> so, got Dole Whip on it. yeah his is Dole Whip and mine has all the you know beautiful <laughs> Birds that sing words. So perfect. Perfect. 
So we got um, these at uh, Animal Kingdom, actually. Oh, did we? We did. Okay, I didn't remember. So yeah, they were like fifteen bucks each. It, it was like About. the total was around thirty for both of them. Thank you, Darth Maz. She says she's gonna send um, us a message with um, the link to the color in her tiki collection. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah. So we got, we got these cups. More tiki themed. Um, um, she got this cup. I got. They have, okay, so they have the cutest new merch in Norway and France pavilions in Epcot, and I'm Norwegian, and, like, how stankin' cute. So this mug is the same style of the, um, as the Starbucks You Are Here mugs, which mm -hmm. I have a huge collection of that is, like, they're dropping like flies because I've had them for years, and they're just, like, I use them so much, they're actually falling apart. So this is They're the well same shape and size. So, I mean, and look how freaking cute Mickey and Minnie are on this thing. Mm -hmm. I also got my dad a tumbler yeah. um, that says ski Norway. Oh, it's so stinking cute. Because mm -hmm. um, my grampy was Norwegian. So um, I got my dad the Norway stuff too. And my sis, I got her the cutest um, Norway tea and i've already given them to them so so <laughs> but just know like there check out um my sister is at by bar on instagram if you can see her so she's confirming that it is the cutest tea and um yeah so if you're um anywhere close to epcot check out norway and france they both have the cutest new like mickey and minnie well, in norway and france theme let's not leave out the rest of the countries because i got this great hoodie from the canada area because you mm -hmm. know what my dad was from canada yeah so it's got like the hockey laces tie up and it's got the hood it's got this great like airy Athletic, athletics um, uh, stretchy area bun bungee yeah it's sides. super comfy um Oh, Erica says she'll try to post um, a picture of it. Or you can just text me one um, of the picture of the Norway shirt that I got for my sister. Um, yeah, I should have taken a picture of it, but I didn't. But she can text me one, and then I'll, I'll post it in my stories. Yeah, so very cute. Yes. Alex was looking, like, for everywhere. Like, everywhere. <laughs> you know, I was like, specifically, actually, I was looking for Canada or China or Mexico because... I'm all of those things <laughs> and UK as well. Um, but this one just, I really liked it. it it's actually very comfortable. Mm -hmm. And I like that it has the ears with mm -hmm. the Buffalo uh, plaid on it. Yes. And it says Epcot world showcase mm -hmm. and it's very sporting and you have your little hockey skate lace, which is the cutest detail. I think so too. So yeah, that was 65 maybe. I think it was just sixty actually. Oh, okay. It was like fifty nine ninety nine. Um, they did have a more expensive one that was like seventy five. That was all buffalo uh, plaid and zipped up, but it didn't have the Mickey ears, and that was really for me. That was the big deal. I wanted something that showed where it came from. Yeah. So yeah, and he was like, "Well, it's sixty bucks. Uh, should I spend sixty bucks on one thing?" And I was like, "Well, Alex, I already bought two T shirts." Um, and <laughs> this mug. So one of the t-shirts I'm wearing, oh, which is cute. from, oh my God, from my new favorite thing ever, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Oh, it's so much Try fun. saying that once, let alone three times. But oh my God. Okay. It says nothing can stop us now. That'll get in your head. And <laughs> it's very cute. And there's like these kind of like shiny parts For of the it. the train, yeah. They look ooey gooey, but... Oh, oh my god. Okay. Oh, oh, and they're hiding so something. My favorite bag. part, and which is why I got this. Oh my god, I'm gonna knock over my chair. <laughs> yep. Hang on. Turn Hang on. Around. Hang ah. on. It's Pluto ah. on my butt. With picnic uh, <laughs> and he's sausages. Eating a picnic. Um, sorry for showing you my butt, but also not. Um, <laughs> it was the selling point to this shirt. And this is a kid's extra large. But it looks um, great. Because I like the kids' clothes better. Um, they don't the offer this, the they usually don't offer the same styles in the yeah. kids and the larges. Like even if they have the same theme, they'll have different characters or color schemes. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, yeah, there's some big kids sizes, but um, yeah, 
I, I had to have it in, in an XL. It works um, for me. And that also means it's like slightly cheaper. It was like, this one was 1999. Um, and then um, uh, somebody's <laughs> okay. Uh, Carlissa is saying that um, she still has yet to ride the railway, but still gets the song stuck in her head. <laughs> Um, we do have a, a video yeah. of the ride I'm going to be putting out. Oh, yeah. Um, so spoilers if you don't want to see what the ride's about, but I have I have the ride. Yeah, it's, it's it was, real. It was so much. Cool. We actually so got we to ride. We rode it thrice, I believe. Yes. Um, and then, like, my other new favorite thing that I did this time that I haven't done before is the Skyliner. And I saw this shirt. And this was at the, the railway shirt was from the ride from the from the stand right mm -hmm. outside of the ride is where I got this after you exit the ride. This is from um, the um, oh I'm totally blanking on the store in Epcot that is right on the bridge. What is it called? I just blinked. World Traveler. World Traveler. Which is the um, store. Yes, I love the vintage look of it, too. Um, World Traveler is the store right there on the International like Gateway Bridge where you can actually um, get on the Skyliner at Epcot and take it to the resorts. Or, oh. you know, where you cross the bridge into... Um, the, like, Boardwalk or Beach Club... Um, Resorts. Hey, Jessica. Yes, we, we're loving all the merchandise too. Jessica just said yes. on, she likes the merchandise or loves the merchandise. Um, yes, I let Ashley. Hi, Ashley. Oh my God, I haven't talked to you in forever. Um, yes, the, like totally getting me with this like vintage artwork. Well, she looks so style. good. In it. When we rode the Skyliner, she was getting compliments from the, from uh, the, the customers. customers. They were like, they're we like, love that shirt. Love Thank that you. shirt. And they were probably <laughs> thinking, oh, we've never seen that on an adult before. So they probably never noticed it because. This is also a kid's extra large, but it fits me just the same as as this one does. And for reference, I wear like an adult medium. Yeah. Um, so if you're, yeah, it, it, it fits. Yeah, she made it if, work. Yeah, if you don't have like a larger chest, they work. Um, uh, so which, that would be a difference. Yeah, it would be a difference if, yeah. Um, if you do, they might not. Oh, this one. Oh, yeah. Okay. Erica, if yeah. you're still here, we forgot to give this to Sam. <laughs> this was for our nephew, um, but it got left in the bag. So yeah, this will be coming back. This will be coming back to we Sam. We got a Mickey race car. Mickey wheel. Mickey Roaster racer race car. Um, our nephew just loves anything with wheels. He loves Mickey. They roll. If you're Sam, if you're watching, so this is for you. We just forgot to give it to him. We also got him Sorry. the Cars tipping tractor set. Oh, and they moo. Ugh, it's the cutest. It it was very cute. We got it at the um, gift shop at uh, Test, Track. Test Track. Can't yes. remember exactly what it's called, but oh. Oh, no. It is, it's on its way. He's very mad, and he's now disowned us. So, Mickey. We don't believe you. He's two. He doesn't know. He doesn't understand the concept of disowning us. I'll um, teach him. <laughs> and then I guess the last thing that we got was my new ring. Yes, the new ring from the Magic Kingdom. Oh, okay, he's in bed. Okay. Um, so I got this open band. Um, here, let's get off camera and see if we focus on it. No. Open band. <laughs> Does it focus? Sorry, we're trying to focus it on Instagram. Um, oh, it shows up on YouTube real well. It's yeah. very shiny. It's an open band, two hidden Mickeys together. Du double, double Mickey. Double mouse head. Um, so that's me, and then that's Alex. Um, uh -huh. But <laughs> we uh, we have a kind of a fun rule that we can have as many wedding rings as we want as long as they don't cost more than a hundred bucks because <laughs> we like so many things and we change our minds a lot. So I thought um, I wanted to have at least one Mickey ring. She's saying, put your hand behind it to make it show up, okay. which 
I don't know. I seem to cover your face, but I, I know it's hard to see. But trust me, look it's, at pictures. Out it's there very cute. Them. There's two very high carat diamonds, and it just kept me. Blog um, fairy says so pretty. So thank you, blog fairy. I love it. Um, it's it's very cute, and um, one of my stones had fallen out of my other <laughs> wedding ring. <laughs> wedding ring so which was also like 90 bucks so right. um is it rebecca hook no it is the arebus uh so we got this at the crystal palace and this actually is the arebus brothers um line of jewels that you can get at crystal palace in magic kingdom um and comes in this it's beautiful a, very nice box. case box and it was 95 dollars before tax or any discounts, so which we didn't have discounts on this trip because we are not currently pass holders as well. I guess everyone is now. <laughs> yeah, because everything expired before we could, you know, renew, and they're not selling new annual passes. We asked. We asked because <laughs> we're like, can we buy an annual pass and get reimbursed for this parking? But it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. It's fine. I'm not mad. Um, <laughs> So first time I've ever paid for parking at Disney World. It was an experience. But that's okay. Um we knew what we were getting into. Yeah, we knew. I knew we had all for this calculated, part. you know. Um oh we also got this like oh yeah, this counts reusable tote um <laughs> at Epcot, there you go. which oh, yeah. you can get any size tote for a dollar. For a dollar, so so we got jumbo. Yeah. Size, um, it to helps. put all of our merch in for the way back. And now we can go shopping with it. Yes. When and it's we big, go shopping. And it's cute. And it counts as a souvenir, I think. Well, we're going to keep and use it. I think so. Receipts. Plus, I got um, you know my first time visitor pin on. Oh, right. And then I, I got uh, my birthday pin and we got our happily ever mm -hmm. after. So, yeah, we also got, I guess we won't show the shirt for your mom because we haven't given it to her yet. <gasps> Spoiler alert if she's because, watching. Yeah. Uh -oh. um, I don't know if she's going to see this, so we won't show that yet. But but if she does, uh, we'll show it to you later, everybody. It's very cute. <laughs> um, oh, um, Ashley says that she buys the reusable totes from all four parks each time they go, which like is a cool, cause they do have them not just for Epcot, but for every park. Yeah. That's a cool idea. Cause she says it's the, it's the gift that keeps on giving. Yeah. It's a souvenir that really is and useful. For, you know, it's a dollar for any size. So. Grocery bags, beach bags. It's yeah. A, it's a good deal. Mm -hmm. Um, so we had some questions, mm -hmm. um, come in on Instagram regarding the trip, um, uh, today. So feel free to ask any questions that you have as well. Um, Oh, Jessica's asking, uh, I know you're talking merch, but did you get to the oh. ride, the rise of the resistance? No, oh, what a great question. <laughs> um, um, yeah, let's hold up. um, yeah. yes, yes, we did. And, um, I just today got done editing and it'll actually be coming, um, on YouTube available right after this live video. Oh, oh, did you do the thumbnail? I did the thumbnail. Okay, so really. It's All right, yeah. Ready to go. We're going to um, post our video of kind of like the process of Rise right now, um, given like the you know, COVID procedures and all that, mm -hmm. um, how, how they're handling things. You know, during January 2021, mm -hmm. global Yeah, pandemic. as of the time that we went, how, like, the the process is of, of boarding and getting on that ride and stuff. Thank you, um, Darth Maz, for sending that message. Yes. Um, so one of the questions that we had earlier kind of, you know, pertained to rides mm -hmm. and queues and somebody asking, did the lines seem longer or shorter because the parks are at 35% capacity. Um, but I know that the lines seem physically long. Yeah, they, well, they do because the idea is that your each group is six feet apart. Mm -hmm. So it, it, I don't extend. have experience in Disney world standards, but it gets they fairly extend. long. Yeah. Um, but like, I know, for instance, like 
the ride, the ride, the queue for flight of passage is probably in the same place it always is. It's just that the park is at 35%. So there's more space between it. Mm -hmm. So um, there are law physically long lines because of social distancing. But what we realized, and we did a lot of real time updates while we were there, like timing how long the rides were and stuff, the wait times that are listed on the queues and in the app or are um, consistently like 30 to 40 minutes inflated. Yeah. So they're, they're not that bad. Yeah. So really for the most part, you can go ahead and subtract like, yeah, this says like, uh, this says 60 time. minutes. It might be like 30, 35. Mm -hmm. Now if it's shorter, obviously like if it says five minutes, it's a walk on. Yep. Um, if it says, you know, 30 minutes, it might be 20 minutes. But if it says like, you know, 60 or more, it's usually about 30 to 40 minutes, like less than what it says on the app or mm -hmm. on the queue line. Um, so yeah, physically longer lines, time wise, they were pretty short. The I mean, we didn't wait for more than 40 minutes for anything anything 40 45 minutes and that was for probably for flight of passage that said 75 i think mm -hmm. when, we got, when we got on it so <clears throat> yeah um, also like, uh that doesn't include rise because that one's still doing the, mm -hmm. the reservations right so yeah you're still signing up for the boarding pass on the app um so yeah we did Ride it our last day at Hollywood Studios and we made it. I got boarding group number 14. So I'll just go she ahead and click off the congratulate like myself. I guess. Like, bop, 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 done. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we we probably waited like 20. <laughs> Yeah, and that was and mostly moving pretty well. Yeah, it was moving through pretty well. So, um, yeah, along with that, we got a question about um, safety precautions, which we did a video where, and a blog where we kind of covered a lot of it. Um, but we got specific on when we did the rise one. Yeah, we, our, our video that's coming out on Rise will be more specific. We felt pretty comfortable on that one. We had some instances where we just kind of felt like more could be done, namely in like they they do a super good job of keeping you socially distanced in the line. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But like when you exit, it's a free for all. Or like there's some instances where you're like standing on six foot markers and then all of a sudden you're like all flowing into one area. It's like, and, go. Yeah, and it's like, okay, go. Like, and you're like, but what was the point of keeping us apart six feet if you're going to cram us all into a space together at the end of it? Um, so, you know, I... We can slow, but you can always slow down a little bit more than that. Like, yeah, we just really took care of ourselves at our own comfort level because, you know, in our other video and blog goes into this a lot, like you can't expect them to hold your hand and do everything for you. You have to have a serious conversation with the people that you're going with about what your comfort level is. And you have to agree that if your anxiety gets to you, you step away from the situation, which is what we had to do a lot. And we had to find alternative things to do yeah. um when we got overwhelmed which is why we like rode the skyliner to resorts and like which were very open like we could find like yeah. a place to sit like at one of the open air bars by the pools. yeah like by the pool bars um we went to the riviera um oh ashley asked how did you feel about the parks closing early at night good because <laughs> it was so You're exhausted uh, being on all the time um because we, we were concerned um, to keep social distancing and, you know, keep our mask on. And, you know, we're rule followers, like big time. We can't help. Like we're just rule, especially this guy. I had to remind him several times that he doesn't work there, that it's okay. <laughs> like he can calm yeah, down. I, I, um, it, it was an experience for me. I had to remind myself about that a lot when I couldn't. She reminded me. 
Yeah. And, you know, that's part of like communicating about it and having a plan with the people that you're going with. So for us, actually, we were okay with the early closing because we were on all day. And so by the end of the day, we were more exhausted than usual. Mm -hmm. Um, Even though we did take those breaks for like an hour to three hours in the middle of the day, sometimes to step away. Um, Yeah. And so um, uh, Jennifer says it's true. You have to be responsible for your own safety. And that's really yeah, and Darth Mass is the same thing. Like you have to just take control for your, yourself and listen to yourself, follow all the rules, wear a mask, wash your hands, don't touch your face. And yeah, same same with us, Darth Mass. We we did have some instances where we just had to ask some people to could you please give us yeah. six feet and just, just ask for it yeah. and then and, they obliged. Yeah. And, and you know not being rude or judgmental or aggressive or anything about it, just completely owning our own anxieties Mm -hmm. and realizing when we needed a break and then we would go to the nearest resort. um, Or uh, one of those relaxation stations. Yeah. Or, you know, have a meal or, you know, go to a part of the park that we knew wasn't going to be crowded because you can always find a place. Mm -hmm. There are places, many places. Um, Jessica's asking, uh, did we use the Airbnb Wi-Fi when we got our reservation or did we use Disney Wi-Fi for the rise? Of the um, I, I, it was at the Airbnb. So we weren't on property no. at 7 a.m. They actually uh, won't let you. We found out um, when we got in line for Magic Kingdom, they like wouldn't even let us enter the park until that 810 uh, times uh, went over. Oh, oh, you're talking about entering the parking lot. Yeah, yes. because we couldn't, we didn't stay on property. So we couldn't have entered the parking lot um, at 7 a.m. anyway. So um, early. yeah, yeah. Jennifer's saying like she runs around and like leaves a store if it's too crowded, uh-huh. like same. Yeah, we felt too crowded in some situations and we just said, okay, it's time to leave, it's time to walk away. Um, and then you can come back if you want to later Mm -hmm. and usually that worked um yeah the hardest part of disney vlog fairy says is like remembering to take a break and our first day was really hard because we hadn't figured that out yet because we were just trying to disney like normal like we were yeah we we were under the false illusion that we were still in the disney bubble well the the disney bubble doesn't Mm -mm. exist right now so, you know, we, that first day we really got like, yeah, it popped. And, and then we had to reframe and reset our expectations. And it, yeah, we, we had to talk about it because mm-hmm. it was a shock for us that. Mm-hmm. We expected for them to like pamper us and like follow us around with Lysol and clean everything that we touched. And, Not the case. No. Um, it's different for each each attraction, the cleaning schedule and the way that they seat things. Um, they're not cleaning after every ride. They're not cleaning between every guest. They're cleaning like it, at it's, the most every two hours, at the least three times a day. That's what we pretty much found out. Um, but you have to like actually ask each attraction operator um, because they're the ones in charge of it. It won't. It's not like you said. It's not park wide. It's mm-hmm. not. Disney worldwide, it's attraction per attraction. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you're right. It's, it was hard pre pandemic. (laughs) It's tiring. You know, you forget, especially the drinking water thing. I can tell you right now when you're wearing a mask and the only time you're allowed to drink is when you're stationary, you can't do it in line. You can't do it while walking and we're fine with that. But the fact that you have to like step over and you take a break to take water we were realizing after day one we were like dehydrating we were just like forgetting to drink water and so (laughs) we quickly adjusted that and said slow it down slow down quit walking so fast like we're fast walkers you can't do that now you can't do that now you gotta keep that space like yeah you gotta be realistic about what you can accomplish and that you have to accomplish or you have to like view new things as an accomplishment like taking a break midday and going to a resort to get a Mm -hmm. drink that's a new experience you know 
And just because it's not park time doesn't mean... It was mean still a good time. It's Yeah, it was still worth that, you know. And I've had a lot of questions of was it still worth it paying, you know, full admission price and all this stuff. Yes, it was still worth it, even though we probably spent like one to three hours each day, not on, not in the park, but still on property. And um, as a first summer, I don't feel like I missed anything I, that I regret missing. Like everything was like the stuff that we didn't get to see was pretty much just closed. Yeah. And there's always next time for people like us. Exactly. You guys know. <laughs> um, this won't be a one in a, once in a lifetime trip for us. Yes. And uh, Darth Mass has a point about um, the sodium content. It's like you cannot forget to drink water when you're eating so much sodium. She yeah. also asked, what was our favorite snack this trip? Snack? Mm-hmm. Snack, not meal. Snack, not meal. Well, hmm. For snacks, um, I think I like that chili relleno. Yeah, mm-hmm. we got that at uh, I was thinking that too. Festival of Arts um, in the Mexico area in uh, Epcot. Yeah, it was re- uh, re- already re- gluten free, re- and, and you know, we yeah. asked for it to be dairy free, which they just put a like a cream sauce on top, but it was really good. Yeah, we had to modify it to take off the cream sauce, to make it dairy free. But oh my god, I. I have never had a chili, Chile, Chile, Chili Rieno, Rie- Chili Rieno, Chili Rieno before, um, <laughs> and it was good. It was good. And I haven't had one in years, so it was really good. Too. Yeah. And I intend to make some for us later. Ooh. Ooh. Um, yeah, that was a good snack. Mm-hmm. I think I agree with you because it was different. It was something that I had, had never had before. Um, also, um, okay, so somebody asked earlier, I liked this question. When you think about your trip, what comes to your mind first? What do you think about the whole trip? The steak. <laughs> okay, I somehow knew you might say that. And that leads into the next question. Okay. <laughs> How good was the steak? Okay, I don't know which camera to look at. All right, both. Um, that was the best steak <laughs> I've ever had. Okay, so before this, <laughs> I had another steak that I thought was the best steak I've ever had, and I got it uh, in Palm Springs at a place called LG's, and it was fantastic. This one at La Cellier. La Cellier. Yeah, see, different languages. Um, uh, <laughs> at that place that I can't. I I'm like chilling. You're like you're laying. Yeah, and, I can't <laughs> and you at can't all. do. Mm-hmm. Oh, and I'm correcting. This but it's so good. It was. <clears throat> It was a filet mignon uh, modified uh, to not have the truffle butter sauce. Obviously, don't do I don't do dairy, and they didn't put the risotto on the plate for me, so I got uh, fingerling potatoes with it and the asparagus. But <laughs> that's just the sides. The steak, it it made me well up. Like I got emotional. It was so tears. good. I I kept like cutting into it and then taking a bite. And then like not believing it, so I had to like look closer <laughs> at it. Like like I was like, where's the trick? Like I'm being fooled. The the steak was too good. He was like looking at it. He's like, what like, did they? What, what did, did they, they do? do? <laughs> the chef <laughs> is brilliant. Chef Juan. Yes. Oh. Oh my God. Praise. <laughs> oh, like, um, and I am not. I'm not a big no. hunk, hunk of meat person. Like I'm just. I don't enjoy it. Um, but. It was ooh, California girl has a pretty solid. Okay, we'll have to try when Disneyland. Um. Like, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of getting emotional um, just thinking about the steak again. It was so good. Let me go back. Um, oh. Yeah. So um, I'm not a big, big hunk of meat person eater, but even I, like I, I echo I, this sentiment about the steak. It was phenomenal. I had like four it, like, bites. and it, You took a bite and it, it, you barely had to chew. It just kind of melted. Yeah. Which is why I typically don't like oh. steak. Cause I'm like, am I still chewing this? And no, the answer is usually yes. But in this case, I actually took like four bites. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. And I had. So I, I um, besides like getting to eat in this cool castle that they serve it in, 
like you're in a castle and you get to have your dining experience and they do great social distancing inside. Mm -hmm. The service was very good. All the table service places felt really safe on distancing, cleanliness. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, all, they did a uh, thumbs up to all of the, the yeah. food service on all. I mean, all not just table service, like all the food yeah, service. Yeah, they were doing a good job, very good um, job. Yes, it was such a good dining experience. I had the maple whiskey glazed brussels sprouts those were good too. they were tasty and then i had the plant-based poutine which is not on the menu but um you have to ask for it and you can ask for it and it is safe for all of my allergies and i had never had poutine before me neither so I it was the on poutine, a like, fun treat the chance trying to have it before i got a food allergy mm, same and so we got to really experience it and yeah. it was really good it was fun. It was like, you know, poutine, it wasn't like on par with that steak by any means, but it was a super fun experience because we would have never no, otherwise no. gotten to try it. And it was yummy. It had like a really delicious uh, gravy, like a mushroom, I think, no, base gravy. They uh, called it an emulsion because it wasn't yes, quite a, it was wasn't like, officially a Would you gravy. like me to pour the emulsion for you? And I was like, I guess so, because so I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, uh, but such a good, um, yes, yes, Jessica. S Steakhouse 55, I haven't you've, tried that. But, we haven't tried that. We will. But that, um, that castle. But you've got to try La Salle. It, it's like, oh, oh it, my God. It came with, um, yes, me, it's I, incredible. I had, I had a dairy for bread. She got gluten free rolls too. They were warm. It had bread that I could eat. Mine came with like this sourdough roll and a hot, like, pretzel, pretzel roll bun with uh with a vegan butter that they cover with they put like salt and like it was maple, like maple sugar on it sugar which butter which i freaking I mean, hate butter and i was like blah, 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 blah. oh like, god like i was like oh god, like the bread is that good they're trying like they're just trying to get me full on bread like so i won't really eat the meal but no mm -hmm. no it really no, this was kid just ate the appetizer everything kind of and like oh. yeah like Darth Maz is saying she's surprised you didn't lick the plate. I think the only reason he didn't lick the plate is because we were in a nice restaurant. Mm -hmm. He licked uh, I, the there, utensil. He scraped. I scraped I mean, the juice and you bits off. And I found video. some more like on the knife and I scraped that off. They didn't get any food back from me. <laughs> maybe, maybe some of the so, butter because I didn't use all of it. But the bread, the like I was eating after I was done with the steak, I ate the rest of the Brussels sprouts too. And most of your poutine that you didn't finish too. Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah. Oh. You polished it off. So what was your favorite Epcot pavilion then? Oh, um, Canada was actually very impressive. I liked that uh, 360 video, mm -hmm. but for fully themed, I think France. Oh, really? Yeah. It was either France or UK because UK is pretty big. Mm -hmm. And we actually had a meal there too, which is uh, fish mm -hmm. and chips was delicious but i think france it just i've never been to france before but i felt very like immersed immersed that's yeah. the right word like and get there i, I kind of like lost track that we were somewhere else they even had like new stands around and like the the gates mm -hmm. changed it's it's real nice france is pretty good mm -hmm. and i think it'll probably be my favorite once ratatouille right yeah that's pretty exciting too they're making it even bigger mm -hmm. um yeah, right now, gosh, I have such a hard time picking favorite anything. I love Norway because it reminds me of my grandparents. Um, Where they have the Frozen Ever After ride. It was, mm -hmm. That was fun. Um, I love Japan, China, and I'm just going oh, to so like Italy and I list them all. Um, <laughs> <laughs> So, oh, in France, they have a brioche bun ice cream sandwich. I wonder if they can do it gluten-free and vegan. I mean, they, I, they do offer sometimes asking. vegan brioche. I don't know if they're gluten-free. I've seen them yeah. there. They definitely have, like, the allergy-friendly um, buns, but I just, I kind of assumed sure. they, because we saw the ice cream parlor. We didn't go in because we, we just, just assumed. assumed we couldn't have any, but they might right. have something on the menu. As far as I know, they I don't know. I, I can't. I can't speak for certain on that. I feel like, as far as I know, they don't have a vegan or dairy free option there. But I could be wrong. Um, we'll France. We also really like um, the um, 
oh, what's it called? You had the frozen martini, which was good. And then we oh, also yeah, really too. like the, um, oh, the orange frosé, like the Grand Marnier slush thing. Yeah, like they're, um, they're like the frosé thing. They're cocktail slush frozen drinks. Yeah. and They're cute. Like, yeah, they were. They come in a little martini glass with straw. Oh, they do have sorbet in France. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. I yeah. was thinking they, they might have something like that. It's, yeah. You're, I mean, it's They have it's options fine. with Disney it's parks. Fine. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'll get all into it. I'm like, sorbet's fine. Uh, <laughs> um, so uh, somebody also asked, like, what was our favorite thing that we did outside of the parks, which was really nothing this trip? Um, we didn't really do anything outside the park. We didn't. We we kind of, you know, stayed there. Um, we did just, uh, originally had plans to go to uh, Universal Orlando, but mm -hmm. we actually just took a day off that day. Yeah, we needed a day off. We had kind of heard if we had had stress about um, negotiating Disney that we would probably have more stress about negotiating Universal. Um, so we just decided not to take that chance at all, um, and Save stay home. Later. Um, but the, um, no, yeah, we did not do Gatorland or Ripley's. I actually didn't know they had a Ripley's out there. That makes sense though. I've done Ripley's yeah. in Hollywood, California. I mean, yeah, it's, you know, there are tourist things that could be kitschy and fun, um, that we might save for, um, the other things oh erica my sister's like excuse me you did nothing outside the parks she's referring to the fact that we did go visit her and my family we're talking about when we're on the in way there. florida <laughs> sorry we were talking about in florida on the way there so we drove from our home in southern california we drove to my family's place in texas yes we drove to there we didn't like besides gas we just went <laughs> right and then um we also stopped in new orleans um so somebody i actually yeah asked what our favorite non-disney stop was um so my sister's watching so um meeting my, my new family was, was fantastic hi <laughs> no but seriously we we can almost like not compare you know because it was like alex met my family for the first time so that, that was, was big and then we stopped in new orleans which we loved um so kelly's asking did we regret staying off property no um i usually stay off property um i i, I don't know because i've never stayed on property um so <laughs> That I don't know. <laughs> um, Blocker uh, says a uh, dairy free ice cream usually at the plaza yes. in Magic Kingdom and beaches and cream. That's at true. Beach resort. Okay. Can enough. confirm. Cool. Um, they nice. can also make like the kitchen sink like Sunday at beaches and cream with like the big. Yeah, I know. Next time, a dear. Next time. Um, <laughs> my sister now says Alex is her favorite because he's such a little buttercup. Um, She's my favorite sister. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, Florida drivers are scary, um, but I I usually um, stay off property because it's usually honestly a budget thing because I can spend more money. We didn't stay far at you know uh, restaurants and get souvenirs, and yeah, you have to spend money on parking, but honestly, like it's still less expensive than staying at a lot of resorts. We were only 15 minutes um, away. Sorry, I didn't want to miss. Oh, thank you. Uh, Nautis31 says they enjoyed watching our posts and stories. Thank you very much. Thank you. You guys are so friendly and good. Oh, well, thanks. We hope so. We do Appreciate hope so. I, I didn't want to miss that comment. Sorry. Um, Oh, and mm -hmm. my sister says, for perspective, we've been together for two years. Um, and uh, As of this coming Friday. As of Friday. And my family had never met him. We got married in October. So uh, people think that it's crazy, like, that we got married and he had never met my family. But I was just like, eh, I know. They'll like him. 
Um, so uh, yeah, staying off property, I like for budget reasons and especially when you're a pass holder and you can get that included parking, it, oh, it yeah. it's worth it. Um, it does. It is kind of nice to be like, <clears throat> I have a pass. <laughs> now it does mean that if you don't drive there that you have to rent a car, but honestly, like I've done the math and it still can be less expensive than staying on property. And I like the, I, I like being able to come and leave on your terms and not have to wait for transportation. And yes. Like there's that. something about autonomy. That's really nice. Yeah. And you are right. Darna. When you're in love, you're in love. And that's all that matters. <laughs> it's true. Um, so somebody asked too, would we recommend new Orleans for a like pandemic time trip? And I say, yeah, yes, we were able to do it with, we only actually went into one place besides our Airbnb and mm -hmm. they were being very super cautious. Yes. Um, we were outside the entire Even day for our meal. Even while eating in New Orleans, you can spend an entire day outside and have a great time. Be just as engaged. There's just as much to see. If you don't even enter a single building, you can still find great food. You can still find drinks because you can order a drink at a, win a bar side window and drink it while walking around. There are some bars that you could go into. Um, <clears throat> And we just, we didn't do that just option. not to. We, we found a place that had like the front entrance closed off, offering just a like window service. And mm -hmm. it was perfectly fine for us. And we have more um, videos to come on New Orleans. So you'll see like everything that we got to do in one day, it's just walking around a city. Um, I really and, enjoyed uh, it. Oh yeah. Darth Mass has another good point about seeing off property that I forgot to mention. The reason, the main reason that we do is because of our allergies, um, yeah. it's really helpful to have a full kitchen so that we can prepare food and bring it with us or choose to eat food at home that we prepare. Um, and another reason, especially for this trip, was we were gone for almost a month from our house. So we needed a washer and dryer. <laughs> yeah, we really did. Yeah. We, I used it often. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, frozen Irish coffee. Mm -hmm. Um, I love Irish coffee, but if that if I can get it without dairy, I'm all about that. That sounds great. Yeah, a lot of the time it has like creamer or Bailey's yeah, or something. My in version it, of uh, might call it the Alex Irish coffee is just black coffee with Jameson. With Jameson. <laughs> um, yeah. So we did. I guess the closest that we got to non Disney thing was going to Disney Springs one evening. Yeah. We kind of felt overwhelmed at Animal Kingdom the first day we were there, and we decided to leave at about 1.30 and step away and check out Disney Springs where, you know, it was cool. we had more space to roam because it was less crowded, and we didn't do a whole lot there, but we got dinner and yeah, something okay. to drink, and just, oh, we went to Aaron McKenna Bakery. Yes. Mm -hmm, because everything there is gluten-free and vegan, so. So awesome. And it was really good. It was super delicious. We bought like four things. And we ate them. It took us four days to eat. <laughs> I mean, they're like they're, 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 they're big. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it. it Not um, a complaint about that. Yes. It's a great thing. Aaron McKenna. Great. 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 Um, yeah. So. Oh, I one last like pre question that we got was. If we could do this trip over, would we wait until after the pandemic, assuming that that is a concept that even ever exists to, to us? I believe it will. I believe that post-pandemic will exist relatively soon. So do, do we... If, we, if we could do it over, would you say you would wait or would you have just done the same thing? With how I feel and overall the whole trip, I, I'm happy that we went at this time. I, especially for my first trip, it like there was definitely some moments where I personally felt a bit crowded, so I that I had to deal with that. But the fact that there was less people and like the chance that we could actually go and 
ride what we wanted to ride and see what we wanted to see in that amount of time, I find it completely worth it. No regrets? Nope, no regrets. Yeah, me neither. Um, I feel like for me, I know that this is a very like, it's a very lucky point of view to have, but as somebody who is constantly inspired by Disney, I need it in my life. And I needed, I just needed this, needed this trip. Um, we will save this life. Um, I, I, I just needed it. And um, uh, Blog Fairy is asking, did we miss the character meet and greets or character dining? No. Um, no. Uh, I didn't because they do off the parades and the cavalcades. Yes, yeah. and uh, the the like you'll see princesses being kept pulled on horse drawn carriage mm -hmm. sometimes or um, uh, up on the like the upstairs area waving down to you. And oh, at the train station, yeah. yeah. So like you did get character interaction it is not quite the same, but we saw um, still worth it without it winnie the Definitely. pooh and joy uh at epcot on the grassy yeah. uh, field over there uh, so pooper was catching uh butterflies it was cute <laughs> yeah like you get the opportunity to see pretty cute uh things that don't usually happen so um and barbara's asking did we finally feel within our comfort zone yes yes once we took responsibility <clears throat> for ourselves mm -hmm. um we we were Our able to really do it exactly MR. like we were sanitizing every opportunity we could. We had our own personal one. They had machines everywhere and we were using both. We had white, we had um, alcohol wiping wipes. Down any um, uh, rides we were going to sit on or chairs and uh, uh, what shows we saw. So yeah, you can definitely find your own. Well, we've definitely found our comfort. Mm -hmm. And honestly, if this guy can do it. Seriously, I, I didn't know I had, I guess, such pandemic anxiety. Mm -hmm. And I, it's really crept up for him. Um, it was, it was a big shock because we'd spent, you know, this most of this past year here in, in this house and then to go to someplace mm -hmm. very public with the public. Um, you know, I like, like we said in the other video, I just, I wasn't prepared for it and I had to just change my point of view about it. Mm -hmm. And he did. And it was, you know, we had our times where, I had to play to his level of comfort, which honestly, I have a lot of concern. Alex has even more. Yes. And so we just had to communicate and make sure I was playing to his level of comfort. And that if, if he, you know, felt it, then I had to respect that and say, it's time to walk away. Um, and then I really appreciate two two people have just said too like they feel it like they agree um you know like it's um, self care is important and when you're a Disney fan like sometimes that's part of it and you need like um th they're saying um here uh Danette oh hi Danette um uh she's saying you know as as a healthcare worker like she needed this vacation that didn't get canceled like. And I, and I do get that, you know, like it, it was somewhere that we could, you know, Jessica, thank you. And you're absolutely right. My wife is great. <laughs> thank you. She just said that was a, a, such a trooper <laughs> and what a great wife, uh, uh, Emily. And yeah. Oh, and is. Darth Math says she also works in the medical field. So yeah, she understands the anxiety, but she also has a trip planned in February. So you'll know exactly how to handle it. Like you'll, you know, I'm not saying it's going to be, you know, like Skittles and rainbows, but, um, but you'll, you'll, you'll learn how to negotiate it yeah, for yourself yeah. pretty quick. Um, you, having that. Use the relaxation stations. Yes. Um, use the sanitizer, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, the, use the resorts. You yes. can go there. Even if you're not staying there, you can go there and you can order a drink um, at the pool bar. The pool bars are open like all day take the um, um the the sky uh i'm drawing skyliner from. skyliner thank you uh -huh. if you're at hollywood studios or epcot take the skyliner um you know if you're at magic kingdom walk to the contemporary or take the monorail to the poly or the floridian um Let's go see that uh five-legged goat yeah i learned um, about that i was learning about that you know so it's just like um it's a, it's not a real goat if anyone doesn't know. Yeah, it's 
thoughts on a mural. Um, oh, Barbara, I'm having a problem not being there. I've gone every year for 20 mm -hmm. years. Um, we get that. We mm -hmm. get that a lot. Um, and we know it's like, it is a lucky and a privileged uh, point of view, um, but you guys get privilege. it. As Disney fans, like, it's part of our lifestyle and, and it's just... It's, just it's it's not exactly the same thing and you just have to be aware that you have to take care of yourself mm -hmm. and your own and work. we had covid tests we had two covid tests before we left and we have another one scheduled um mm -hmm. negative yeah neg two negative <laughs> um covid tests before we left my family all had negative covid tests you know so um you know, um, being prepared and taking the time to do that. And yeah, I mean, yeah, us Disney fans, we just, you need it. It's our escape. And you, you know, there's, there's responsible escapism in the world. And we're here to tell you, you know, we saw some things that were shocking to us. It wasn't all the great, Something. you know, like experience that we thought we were going to have. We saw some things that we were like, mm, I can't believe people are doing that, but might've screamed the word ill. Ill. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I said, said ill. And that was but, just the guttural reaction. <laughs> yeah. But you know, it, that happens on any Disney trip, to be honest, um, or any, you know, we're Disneyland locals. So like, we see I've been spit on at Disneyland before. Okay. And like, that's just, you know, it's, it's not, it's not fairyland. Okay. Like it's still the real world. I've been spit on at Disneyland now, Pre like pre -pandemic, pre pandemic, obviously, because yeah, it's, it's been closed, but like, yeah. Um, which is still disgusting. Yeah, and we are ultra careful. We are, yeah, maybe, you know, I won't say to a fault. We're just like uh, super duper careful. And yeah, I mean, you see stuff at Disneyland, you see stuff at the parks all the time that, you know, you just go like this, this is real life. Yes, Erica was there when I got spit on at Disneyland. It was her first visit to Disneyland with me. And that's, oh, that you know, sucks. what she got to see. On top of that, too, like, <laughs> like, it sucks, but on your first visit? Ugh. Yes. But Sorry. I just told the young man, I said, excuse me, sir, I would like to make you aware that you have just spit upon me. And that I, I just think that you should know this because um, it's not okay. It's it's not it's not okay, and I wasn't trying to be like judgmental or berate him. I was just like honestly trying to make him aware that when you hawk a loogie while you're moving forward at a brisk pace, it's probably gonna hit the person behind you. And I just want to let you know that. Yeah. And he said, "My bad." <laughs> That's what Erica just said, and he and all he said was, "My bad." Yeah, yeah, and that, I said, that, like that undoes it, right? I said, stay in school, kids. <sighs> Anyways, okay. Hmm. Oh my God, someone said they got caught in a fight because they weren't paying attention. Yeah, I mean, stuff. Ha oh, and it got, oh. That sucks. It got in your hair. Wait, oh my God. Someone spit. Oh, and it got in your, yeah. Yeah. So, you know, these things happen. So. That's okay. We just, you know what we say? We say, oh, yes, we have a new breathe thing. in, breathe out, breathe out. Move, move on, on. Margaritaville. Margaritaville. <laughs> <laughs> because that was what was hanging on one of our Airbnbs. Um, like one of those like <laughs> Jimmy Buffett, like, inspirational margaritaville signs and i said i was going to be my new tattoo um yeah so we just kept saying every yeah, time nice. every time we got heated we were saying just because it's a new namaste yeah, <laughs> because james buffet is a total vibe with me <sighs> margaritas help sometimes yes and you know 
James Buffet. I mean, He's a, yes. I really like him and I don't know why. I don't like his music particularly. Like, I don't know. I just like him as a person because he's got like a total. He's got a good vibe. Breathe in, breathe out, move on. Margaritaville vibe. And like, don't we all wish that we could achieve that? Right. Just think about cheeseburgers oh, and margaritas in paradise. In paradise. Of course, shorts the rest of your life. Yeah. <laughs> Flip flops and step on a pop top. Why do I know all the words to these songs? I don't know. Mm, you know. Yeah, you really do. So you have to breathe in, breathe out. Move on, Margarito. His hotel is pretty. I haven't been there, but they, um, they just uh, revamped one here in uh, Palm Springs area. I know to be so like a Margaritaville it. place, and they were selling them um, when we were driving by in Orlando. They were selling oh, like yeah, the condos now, so we were like, hmm. Favorite ride? Uh, oh, actually, I can answer that. Um, my favorite ride is now Runaway Railroad. That's hard, actually, because Everest, was, Everest was a blast. It makes the Matterhorn look like a kiddie ride. I know they're not supposed to be comparable, but I, I had a comparison because it was a mountain and a roller coaster. Um, but it, it's fun. And actually, at a moment, it kind of a little bit scary. And I don't normally get scared of rides. But it was a blast. It scares me. Get a chance, go for it. Mm-hmm. It's good though. It's I'm scared blast. of everything, but I can handle it. And it's like, ew, it's a thrill, but it's good. Yeah. Um, but yeah, railway right up there for me. Like Mercury and Monet are my favorite. And I love seeing the new animation. Like uh, so it's good. so cool. It, it looks it looks just like the shirt, like the way they look. Yes, they're so stankin' cute. And oh, Jessica says that they're going in April, and they're gonna steal that. Just it's it's breathe, breathe in, in, breathe, breathe out, out, move, move on. on. Margarita Bell. <laughs> mm. Anything is gonna make you laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's so. Yeah. Oh, the G-forces that you feel on Everest when you're pull, oh, it pulls oh. you back. Ah! Yeah, I didn't yeah. know what to get, think Woo. about Everest. He there. didn't know. He didn't know it was going to go backwards or other. Or like I didn't dark. Or I didn't or not even spoil it, but it, it's fun. Mm. So thrill ride Everest. Yeah. For just enjoyment and like Disney, full on Disney theme because it's Mickey, Minnie, Mickey, Goofy, and Pluto. Um. So here's the question of the hour. Which do you prefer, Disneyland or Disney World? Yeah, that's come up. Um, I have been thinking about that, and I had a lot of... I told him he needed to think about it because somebody was going to ask. You know, weigh the scales on this, and overall, Disney World. And I I have reasons for that. I know I'm a Disneyland kid and grew up with it. I've seen it evolve, even. Um, Disney World is huge, and... It's four parks. It has some overlap with um, Disneyland. Obviously, they have like um, Imagine Game of Small World and the Peter Pan and uh, Haunted Mansion. Slightly different flavors of those things. Um, but it, Disneyland has nothing like Epcot. And I had a lot of fun in Epcot, which mm-hmm. I think is part of... I, w- I don't know if I would enjoy it as much as a kid. But as an adult, I really liked Epcot. Um Animal Kingdom. I love. I really love seeing all the animals. It was like a giant zoo preserve with some very knowledgeable cast members about oh all my of God, the yes. animals. They, we talked. To they them. were thrilled to talk. We were thrilled to hear for, of everything yeah. about them. And yeah, uh, the Magic Kingdom itself being the closest is just it's much bigger. Um, the castle's bigger. You mean the closest to Disneyland? The closest to, to compare Disneyland it to, to compare yeah. it to. Um, now that being said, I do like some rides in Disneyland that are overlapping mm-hmm. better. Like I'll agree with specifically, that. Space Mountain. Yes, I like the Space Mountain in and Disneyland then, better. And I liked, uh, actually, It's a Small World in Disneyland better. That was, mm-hmm. a, I don't know, people can have their own preferences. That was my preference. I just, I liked the setup and the scale of it. I know you can't do the outside queues uh, in Florida as much because the rains. And that makes sense to me. Mm-hmm. But um that was just some of my preferences. I flip a coin on um, Haunted Mansion for me. They are actually so similar with just a few key differences that I liked mm-hmm. both 
Um, but you said the Disney. exterior. Oh, I like the exterior of Disneyland, of Disneyland better yeah, because like, it's more of like the antebellum like mm -hmm. um, architecture. I, I prefer that. Yeah, which I like. Um, small World is better at Disneyland. Yeah, so they agree with you there. Um, small World. I, I don't know, like I that. I have a like really. It's cool that they preference um, on that one, but I, I like the discernible lands or countries you see. You can really tell where you are. Okay, Erica agrees about Small World too. And I like I've, that they updated it with the new um, uh, characters inside the. Yeah, some people from. like that. There's characters I, I it. like IP characters in there. Some people don't like that. I it doesn't bother me. Um, oh, you can buy the, the Runaway R Railroad song on iTunes. We'll never get out oh. of our heads. I have a subscription to iTunes. I think we're so we can just that. download Thank that. You for that. Ugh, and, yes. Uh, Blog Fairy, I love Small World and Disneyland. Mm -hmm. I love the characters and the outside. The is so outside, much fun. yeah. Thank you. I, that's what yeah. I enjoyed. Like, I love both. Yeah, and then and then Darth Mass says the um, haunted mansion at Disneyland because they do the Halloween Christmas overlay. That is something true. Um, yeah, I I love me some uh, Nightmare Before Christmas stuff. How many days did we spend um, at Disney World? As someone who's new seeing D Disney World, do you feel like you got the most of your time, or did you feel like you needed more days? So we had ten days. Yes, and um, like we said, we didn't spend all of every day at the each park. We did some breaks, um, and I. I feel like we saw everything with that kind of spread. Yeah, especially given like the 35% capacity and a lot of things just not being available or open. Like, I feel like we were able to do it all. Yeah, I like mean, we were able to like, for things that we missed on one day, we at least had another day and actually at least one other day at every mm -hmm. part. So we had two days at studios, two days at... Epcot. Why did I do no, that? Two days at uh, Animal Kingdom. <laughs> two days at Studios. Two days at Animal Kingdom. Three days at Epcot, and three days at Magic Kingdom, mm -hmm. and that was plenty. I I I agree. Mm -hmm. And honestly, like um, one day at Magic Kingdom was kind of a half day because we had to move Airbnbs. Um, that was a half. Day. Yeah, so I did uh, ten days is a lot. Yeah, yeah, it is. It, no, it, 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 it's it is. a lot. It's it's a lot like of work. Said, we, we we needed that day off in the middle. We did, and we um, we had to. We tried to condition ourselves for walking and stuff, and realized that didn't, we <laughs> we didn't enough. do enough. Like we work out every morning, and we go for a walk every morning. Um, Nothing this extreme. morning, this morning we went for a walk for like an hour, which is because we're like. We had to really condition ourselves. Yeah. We're going to do this. Like, we, we got to be on the like ball. Seven hours at the park at a minimum. Mm -hmm. um, and, and now that we're doing YouTube and videos and stuff, you know, like this is going to be a lot of our <laughs> lifestyle. I have a hard time walking and talking, especially with a mask on because I have asthma. So I'll get like really <laughs> fluffy and puffy. And, it, you know, it's That's probably gross to hear, but, um, you know, uh, we got a condition. So. Um, Jessica says to download a new song for inspiration. I'm <gasps> sure it'll happen. It, it'll never it's get out Rally. of It's Raleigh. Hi. I see you. Um, Hi. My friend Raleigh, um, he says I can barely do three days at MotoGP. As soon as I saw somebody say MotoGP, I was like, I better know that person. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. We took like at least 20,000 steps every day? If not more. That, if not more, 20,000. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, but, you know, it was a big trip. We had mm -hmm. it was a long time coming, especially for me as a first time person. Mm -hmm. But we had like, besides that and our honeymoon and her birthday, we had a lot to celebrate. Yeah, it we had never a, had a vacation It was a multiple together. reason trip. Plus, we wanted to show all of you what it was like. So that's all coming. Yeah. And like we've just decided, this is our life now. Like we're doing this. We're jumping in. We're doing, you know, traveling, YouTube, Disney parks, you know, other locations. Um, in, you know, related so to. Ideas. We have so many ideas. We want to, you know, do. Like the big goal is to do everything. Like, you know represented at a disney park like every yeah. country or city or theme like new orleans that was the reason we all went to new orleans like maybe like eventually locations for all the like 
where the movies are yeah. supposed to take place. Like all the countries in the world showcase, you know, all the countries represented in Animal Kingdom, um, you know, which a was a, a reason why we went to New Orleans because there's a New Orleans Square in Disneyland, and you know, so <laughs> Erica says Oregon Trail because <laughs> <laughs> we did have we did have a combo about following the Oregon, the trail, Oregon trail by car. Um, um, and as long as we don't die making of lots of jokes about dysentery. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I love that game. <laughs> so they're just like, "Oops, you died!" And you're like, "What?" Uh, <laughs> so yeah, we we're leaning into this. This is like, yeah, um, it's what we want. We're going for Route it. 66. Yes, yes. Okay. Because we've already got, thought about that. Like doing, um, for instance, like Cars Land at Disneyland and Cars, you know, franchise in general representing route 66 and um monument valley yes not that far from us especially we said we just um, drove to florida and back it all seems much I, closer. so doable we drive across easy. the country like we can drive to yeah yeah if we hadn't um, stopped uh for the visit in the middle it, you can do it in two days yeah. if you have like you can do shifts on driving with the partner yeah and like honestly um in the after times Yes. Um, I call them the before times and the after times. So you don't have to say pandemic and COVID all the time. In the after times, we'll be flying places like once we're vaccinated and comfy. Um, and yeah, Erica says we will do an entire feature on dysentery. So look out for that. Um, uh, you know, we might have will. to get some of these medical professionals. <laughs> <laughs> oh. um, we have a <laughs> particular sense of humor in this family um yeah renting a mini rv yeah, that's something we discussed fun. too yeah like we almost did it for this trip but like cost wise we just opted to um dump our animals off with my family because <laughs> we were we were seriously considering renting an RV, taking the animals with us, and um, staying um, at uh, um, 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 Wilderness Lot. Wait, Fort. I don't know what it's called. What are you talking about? Wilderness. <sighs> it's a place where I'm assuming we can park <gasps> an RV. It's the Disney Resort that has RV parking. Anybody? Wilderness Anybody? Lodge? Is that what it's called? Fort. Wilderness, Fort, Fort Wilderness. wilderness. Yes, Thank okay. you. I'm like, I'm complaining like all these. Um, yeah, um, it uh, also seems names. a lot more possible after I <clears throat> was able to see outside of the state of California how much cheaper gasoline is than oh it is God, here. It's like minimum a dollar twenty cheaper than what I've seen out here. Erica says she wants to see George, but I don't know where she is. Let me see if I can. George is our cat. She's probably asleep somewhere, and I'm gonna really regret waking her up. Yes. Is she in her shark? No. Well, our cat's somewhere, and in her shark is she has a shark-shaped bed. Mm -hmm. She's got to be. Oh, is she in Nope. She's got to be asleep somewhere. Um, Usually, she's close. I'll send you a picture of Facetime later. She's been like. Um, Sam asked for her and cried when. Oh, Aww. so our nephew um, <laughs> he cried when Erica told her told him the cat went home. Oh, sorry. Yes. She um she uh. Okay, we won't bug her. Our now. nephew really liked chasing the cat around the house as a main form of entertainment. So which we're all for. <laughs> sorry like, to yeah. deprive you of that. Um, she's real tired. She slept. I mean, a lot for her because um, she did. She will not sleep in the car. No, she won't. The dog will pass out in the car, and the cat's fine in the car, but she will not sleep. But she's okay. She just won't fall asleep. But she's she's okay now. She's had her full day here, and she's back to acting just like herself when she's here. I can't believe I missed her because now I'm like. Yeah, we had to yell at the cat maybe a few times today. <laughs> That's okay. I mean, I you can have her back, Eric. You can come visit her. Okay, have her back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, oh, he's way sadder than she was. 
yeah, George's probably not sad to be leaving the two-year-old chasing her by. <sighs> Where's my granddaughter? Oh, hey, Mom. Hi. He's asleep, too. Oh, he's always asleep. You know what will happen if I wake him up. We'll bark and growl because he's grumpy, but... <laughs> he's easier to wake up, though. All right. But we're going to get our pets. Or it's one. Time. It's time. Hey there, who's awake? Oh, Jarius. This is Elvis. Oh. This is Elvis. Hi, Grammy. He's Ooh. our 18-year-old dog. I stay with, oh, God, you smell bad. I need to give him a bath. He, he needs a bath. Mm. And he's sleepy. Hi, I'm so sleepy. He's very old. Oh, a good boy. He stayed with Grammy and Grampy oh, in Texas. Cutie. And he um, loves wearing his little outfits. Loves his outfits, loves Grammy. He was a very good boy. Um... <laughs> He's gonna bite me. Yes. He had any teeth left? There. He doesn't have any teeth. Otherwise, he would bite me. He does not like when I wake him up. He cannot see. He cannot hear. So when you wake him but up, he smells he's like <laughs> in more than one way. He smells really well or bad. Bad. Yeah. He smells. His smell is strong. <laughs> smells is strong. Yeah. yeah his good. smell is strong. <laughs> his sense of smell and his yeah, you, smell. You drop a piece of food, he will find it. Because mm -hmm, the only sense that he has left. I cook in there and then the dog is right there behind me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, anything else? Uh, we miss you. Oh, hi, Mom. Hey, E, we miss you. Wait, are you talking to me or the dog? Because um, both are named. How many me. days were we in the parks? We were in the parks for 10 <laughs> days <laughs> and we didn't do anything outside of the parks um, no. while we were in Florida. Um, Went to Target once. Wasn't time for bed on the East Coast. Yeah, I know. I'm like, time for bed here too. Yeah, it's seven totally o'clock and I'm uh, like, California time zone yet. <sighs> I still haven't I quite recovered. And it's been a busy day. And I'm working on the allergy friendly, like food that we ate, a blog post for that. I didn't get it finished, so I have to finish it. I'm working on um, getting all the videos <clears throat> out uh, one by one. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, uh, we're going to do the Rise of the Resistance is coming out next. And then probably you'll see Festival of the Arts coming out after that. Yeah, because we want to hit like the timely things first. We had a lot of questions about how Rise is working right now. So we wanted to get that out there for info purposes. And then we wanted to get farts out there. Um, all the farts out there. We're going to get all of our farts out because um, it ends in February. So that's kind of timely too. So if you're thinking of going, you know, you want to see that info. Oh, Rachel's asking about favorite meal. Uh, I will say which... it again. It was the filet mignon steak we had <laughs> at La. La. Salier, yeah. La Salier at uh, in the Canada Pavilion. Yeah. Hey, in Canada. In Canada. In the in the Upcast World Show. It was an amazing steak. He that, teared. That I teared he cried up. Cried tears. I ate everything off that plate. Oh, mom misses us too. Thanks, mom. We miss you too. Thank you. Hi. We'll be back sooner than later. In the after times, we'll be back even more frequently because we won't have to drive. Oh, and I guess I want to add in, that was my favorite meal overall and mm -hmm. at Epcot. But prior to that, I thought my favorite meal was going to be at Magic Kingdom. Oh, we had uh, our that's probably my favorite dinner uh, for your birthday. At Liberty Tree yes. Tavern. We had the the Patriot but platter. We it, had a Thanksgiving. It was a Thanksgiving feast. meal. That was, they offer, you know, Thanksgiving meal as everyone has it mm -hmm. with the turkey and all the stuff mm -hmm. on there. Then they have a vegan one. And we thought mm -hmm. that was pretty impressive. But they also have the additional allergy friendly one, which really applied to us. So I got my turkey, I got stuffing, I got brisket, I got uh, mashed yeah, potatoes, uh, green beans all on a plate. Mm -hmm. And on top of how great it was, because it was perfect. It's all, it's all you can, can enjoy. It's no, all, it's all, all you, you can, can enjoy. enjoy. And I enjoyed more than one. <laughs> yeah. I enjoyed one very full. Well, actually, I didn't even I didn't even clean my first plate, but oh my golly, it was so good. I did. Um, and I, I didn't clean my second plate though. 
I bet it's funny that. Oh, look, Jennifer's saying that her best friend cried over the steak at LSLA, too. So it That person look, knows what I'm talking about. It's a basically a fact at this point. You will cry it's, if you eat it. Like, even if you just think steak's okay. Like, like me, I think steak's okay at best. I like and steak. And I was like, and, uh, what? Like, if I didn't know, like, this, because the chef came and talked to us about it to verify mm -hmm. all of our allergies and guarantee exactly what he we wanted. He was basically like, and adjusted tell me the what sides you want. for me so I could get a full meal on the plate because the, the, like, I couldn't get risotto. Um, it's incredible. Mm -hmm. It's incredible. So good. Always, if you have allergies or dietary preferences and all that stuff, hello and thank you. Um, talk to a chef. Always, always talk to a chef. They can do more than what's just on the allergy menu. Talk to a chef. Talk to a coordinator. Um, yeah, it's um, worth it. Um, even if you like like we found out, um, you can get the sides adjusted as well too for your meal. Mm -hmm. So like they just actually took the size of a different steak dinner and put it on my plate and it was perfect. Yeah. And like things that they'll adjust to make it, you know, like, like that aren't on the menu. They'll basically be like, what are you, tell me what your allergies are and tell me what you want to eat. And we'll we make it that. happen. Um, so somebody's asking, um, Kayleen, hello, just joining. Hope you had a wonderful trip. We did, thank you. How was the foot traffic in Disney World? <sighs> Look, uh, time of day, location varied. So dependent on many things. Um, there were times when we were like, wow, there's so much space. Yeah. And there were times where mm -hmm. we had to walk away because mm -hmm. there was no space. So earlier and later in the days seemed generally pretty manageable midday you got pretty iffy world showcase at night okay if you know you know just don't just just world showcase at night i was a bit shocked you know what happens it still is happening and and people drink a lot they've been drinking all day and they lose their inhibitions we saw a lot of people taking off masks and yada yada not you know, I don't want to nitpick and judge and da, 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 like all that stuff. We just like, if you know what happens, you know what happens. Um, I, I gotta assume it seemed fairly it, average day. That, <clears throat> yeah. Like, average evening. It was definitely like when we were at Epcot, when the sun went down, we left World Showcase and we either found something to do in Future World or we went ahead and left. So, mm -hmm. and that was absolutely fine on us. Um, you know, uh, debating on a trip yeah yeah so um if you're thinking of going just know it's not fairyland you know the real world and everything still does exist um you're not in the you're not safe because you're in a disney bubble the disney bubbles kind of popped um so just exercise you gotta take care of you take care of you do what you feel comfortable with what makes you feel safe, and that means adjusting expectations and, and realizing. Walk away if you need to. Yeah. Um, if you don't feel right in a ride situation, let the person know. I suggest <clears> don't <throat> just let yourself be crowded and locked into a, a situation. Ask questions. Cast members will explain things, you know, procedures and everything Thanks, to Black you. Thanks, Fairy. You have a wonderful night, too. Thank you. You, too. Um but yeah, and then we we did a blog and a video on it, and we'll come back and talk about it. And mm -hmm. we'll be doing more lives. If, too. Yeah, we're gonna try to do a live like once a week at least. Um, so yeah, any questions, just let us know. You can feel free to DM us on Instagram, comment on the YouTube well. video. Yeah, um, leave a comment because it's gonna be up, and we can we'll always have answer. We'll a lot more stuff coming too. So uh, if you want to catch up with that, feel mm -hmm. please subscribe and click that bell notification thing, and and you'll see them all coming. Say, say, smash that like button. Oh, yeah, you got to smash bra. that like button. Yeah, just bam. You smashed the table is what you did. Oh, that's on a touch screen. Okay, here. How's that? Smash it. Bam. Smash it. Okay. We're obnoxious. Um, <laughs> we're going to go watch. Uh, she's going to watch WandaVision with mm -hmm. me, and we're going to actually uh, get reactions to that. Um, and, you know, I'll. We're going to make a video about our 
experience watching and, re- and a, basically a kind of a review as a big fan of all Marvel <clears throat> things and a less than a big fan of all Marvel things. <laughs> I'm smiling. Yes, I, I hope you're smiling after the show too. I will be. I'm not super jazzed, but I will see if that changes. We're going to see it. So, yeah. Thank you guys. Good to see you guys too. And I'm glad that you enjoyed our adventures and we'll keep them coming and we'll be back. Yes, we'll be back. Uh, please, uh, you know. Lock Ness Duckies. <laughs> oh, the Lock Ness Duckies. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I'm glad you brought that up. I, I did see what we were <laughs> drinking an espresso of Joffrey's uh, coffee at a world oh. showcase. And I looked over and I was like, I think I just saw a baby Loch Ness monster. <laughs> And, and she's just instantly laughing yeah. at me like, oh, you're so ridiculous. I'm like, no, look over there. She turns around and you saw it. Yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> and like I put it in our story and um, Kimmy like messaged us and she was like, oh my God, that's what we call him too. Um, it's a bird, uh, but I still like baby Loch Ness. It's, a to- it's totally a bird, but Thank it's you. baby Loch Ness. It's so cute. Um, like just the head pops out and goes, night, dives Erica, I love you. Night. Yeah, it was like a and Jessica, fully have a great night. submerged. Thank you. Yeah, bye, Jessica. And thank you, Rachel. Yeah, we're gonna review. We're gonna review WandaVision. Mm-hmm. So it, I think the reason I agreed to do it is because I thought it would be sort of interesting to review it from a fanatic, I, I, Marvel fanatic standpoint. Sometimes I can't shut up. Versus a lukewarm at best Marvel standpoint. Um, <laughs> Wanda a Vision are the maybe most boring characters ever, ever period. I don't know. Oh, uh, God. I don't think They're so. They're like. No. But, you know. I, anyway, I, so. No for taste. This is. I, I feel like I agree to do this because I think it will make it interesting. Who yeah. knows? Maybe they'll win me over. Maybe I'll be like, <laughs> oh, vision. On, vision. Oh, vision. You're such a vision. Vision. Well, they're great. You know, they're both fantastic actors. Sure. It's not personal. Look, it's not personal. No. Look, it's not personal. <sighs> it's I, we'll see what she thinks once it's we watch DiGiorno. it. <sighs> <laughs> So we're going to go watch the first yes. Yep. And or... uh, you will hopefully see what we think. Both of what we think. Yeah. So we're going to go do that. And then, um, yeah. We'll... Mm-hmm. And we'll be doing, um, those will be coming out along with all of the, the trip videos. And uh, we're going to be having the some of my cocktail and meal recreations. That will be uh, again allergy friendly for us. So yeah, and I'm working modified. on that allergy friendly blog. So we'll hopefully be done with that tomorrow. Mm-hmm. I'll let you know on Instagram. When and it's you'll up. see it on YouTube as well. Once we're done. Once it's done. Yep. All right. All right. Let's go set our eyes upon these one divisions. We're off. We're off. Thanks everybody for being here. And here, everywhere, (sighs) breathe in, breathe out, move on, Margaritaville. Thank you, and thank you.